Hi, I'm here to teach you how to do Dr. Molly's smoothie that I tell everybody to do. The purpose of this smoothie is a number of reasons, but first is that most people need five to seven cups of vegetables a day, and how are we gonna do that? The second is for fiber, and the third reason is most people are mineral deficient. So my smoothie is a vegetable smoothie, um, and it's made, and I'm gonna tell you where to get all this stuff. So I go to Costco, because this is cheap. So these are small greens, and the reason I do these greens versus other greens is because they're tender and they don't make you taste, you don't have to crunch so much. So I use smooth, I use greens, I use, so we're gonna just go ahead and make it. So we open up the greens, and this will last me, I make two smoothies a day for my husband and I, and this will last me for two weeks. So this is a Nutribullet. Nutribullet. I don't sell them. I have no intentions to do this. You can do this in a Vitamix, but I'll tell you why I like the Nutribullet, because the footprint is so small. It takes up very little room in your kitchen and is really easy to clean. So I shove, really, literally, shove in as many greens as I can get in here. So everyone always says how much. So probably two to three cups. I make a mess. My husband always knows when I'm doing this because there's greens everywhere. So I do greens. I do any, um, I do lots of uh, parsley because it has a lot of good minerals in it. So a handful of parsley. If I'm doing this in the summer, I have, um, I grow it in my backyard in a, in a pot and then just cut it. So that's a lot less expensive. I do cilantro. If you don't like cilantro, or you're the type of person that's allergic to cilantro, you can leave it out. But the reason you're doing cilantro is because any broadleaf spice herb will move heavy metals. So if you've got toxicity levels, the cilantro will help. If you don't want to do cilantro, you can do basil. Um, I do celery. So I just cut off the celery or pull a piece like this and just break it off and stick it in here. You see, there's no real measurements to any of this. It's just whatever I can cram in there. And I do cucumber. Um, and I even use it if it's a little um, bad. I mean, I, I if, my, if my salad has gone bad, I'll blend it. Okay, so that's the majority of my smoothie. The other thing I do is I buy ginger and Costco is selling um, is selling organic ginger now all of this should be organic you're not going to do this and not do organics and I cut what we call a thumb level a digit of a thumb of ginger this is fresh ginger so I pre-cut it so that I'm not taking very long and then the other thing I do is I also buy from Costco organic chia seeds so I keep mine in a container like this so I can do this quickly. For every tablespoon, it's four grams of fiber. One, two, three, four. Okay, that's 16 grams of fiber. For every cup of vegetables, of which I've crammed in here three cups of vegetables, there's four grams of fiber. So this alone is 16 and 12, is 28 grams of fiber. Okay, most Americans eat less than 20. Now, I'm only gonna eat half of this because this is two servings. Now I'm gonna step over here, I'm gonna take this off for a second because the microphone won't go that far, and I'm gonna fill it up with water. I'll be right back. I'm back. Okay, so now we've also got 16 ounces of water. Oh, one of other Molly's Five Point Health Plans. Now we're all gonna, my husband likes me to wear ear protection, but I don't. I put it in here and I grind it. Now that it's fully blended, you see how it's fully blended? Some of the problems are if you pack this too tight, you have to shake it to get it to the bottom and stuff like that, but you're looking for it to be fully blended. The reason you need to use a Nutribullet versus a blender is because Ginger doesn't blend very well in a blender, um, and chia seeds definitively don't blend well in a blender. So you'll see that this comes out pretty smooth. So now we'll get rid of the neutral. So I am, this is what I really want you to drink. But why do I put it in a, in a blender? I'll tell you why. 
because unless you have a Vitamix or one of those Ninja bullets, also, I'm not going to step over there and do this, but I rinse out all of this and put it in. I'll get all that goody goody stuff. Don't waste any of this. But the reason I put this in here is because if I add some of my supplements to the Nutri Bullet, it froths and make a mess. Okay? So, what I'm really looking forward here is that this has got 28 grams of fiber and three cups of vegetables, more than most people eat any time. So, the next thing I do is because I do it for breakfast, I add protein powder. We, I don't care what kind of protein powder you have. This is a whey protein powder because I was on a keto adaptive diet and so I prefer pea, whey, um, hemp um, powder to rice and soy. Um, a lot of people are allergic to soy and a lot of rice has a lot of carbs. So each spoonful in here is 15 grams. So I'm going to split this in two because I split it with my husband. So if I eat half of this, there's eight to nine grams of protein. That's plenty of protein. So there's my protein. The next thing I do is I put in vitamin C. I do this because it increases my white blood cell count and helps my immune system. So one scoop of vitamin C is 2,500 milligrams of vitamin C. You can put anything in here, right? Then I also put in, and I do recommend, a powdered probiotic. Okay, so I put in a scoop of probiotic. This is kept in the refrigerator. It doesn't have to be this brand. I also put in Bill's berries, but I haven't opened these yet. So this is um, Bill Mitchell's um, liquid berries. They're really good for your vas cardiovascular system, but if you're doing fruit, you can do that in blueberries, which we'll talk to you about it later. So you don't have to do this. I would recommend a probiotic. And I would recommend a protein powder. The other things I do as I'm reaching here, I'm making this for myself, so I'm making it how I want to. This is fish oils. One, I want you to know that fish oils in liquid, so just so you know this, one half a teaspoon is 2,000 milligrams of omega-3 oils. Each one of those capsules, even with the best ones, are 1,000. So that is 4,000 milligrams of omega-3 oils. Remember, I'm always telling you, you don't eat enough oils. So the oils, I would do the oils. I would do the probiotics for sure. Um, this is magnesium. Most of us are magnesium deficient. This tastes delicious. This I do recommend, OptiMag Neuro. Yes. And then if you're detoxing, this is chlorella. So this is more like that cilantro, only in superpower. So that's chlorella. My husband's an electrician, he has heavy metals. I had cancer treatment, I have heavy metals. The other thing I do, I don't know if you know about Sole, I know this just looks like water, but this is actually Himalayan salts in water. So I pour a little bit in there, not much, because you don't want it to taste salty. And that's everything I put in mine, except if you don't like green drinks, this is a green drink, so then I just blend this. I'll go over there and put it in a blender. So then I put this in a blender and I stepped over there and blended it. Um, the one thing I didn't put in here, and I don't see it here, is I'll put my vitamin D drops in here too, but I'm not gonna do that today. Um, so this is my smoothie. Now you may not like this. A lot. This is acquired taste, this is a lot of green. Um, if you don't like that, the things I recommend to put in it to make it taste better is frozen pineapple or mango because this is like a salsa. And you can always put in blueberries. Blueberries are really helpful to your cardiovascular system. But I'm doing um, low carbs right now, so I don't do any fruit. Um, and then these are really convenient. Getting yourself, getting yourself some kind of protein thing. So there's one serving. That's my husband's serving. Look at my serving. Mine's bigger. And I'll rinse this out and pour all that in there because you can never have too much water. And this will be good for tomorrow. And if you're, if you're only making it for yourself, this is actually two days worth. I mean, it's really pretty quite easy. So uh, this is what I recommend for everybody. This is Molly's vegetable smoothie, and um, it's really that simple. Thank you for your time.